Yeah, I know I'm early. But I'm still trying to get things organized here. Um, I need to shut that off. Uh, I hope you like what I did, Joe. I mean,
Jack Jack's world, they're getting slammed with heat. Midwest don't know what to do. And the East Coast just gets all the shit rain. Oops, sorry. All the nasty rain. <laughs> It's not too late, dude. It's not too late. <laughs> <coughs> the track work I see coming home. Sometimes two main lines is nice, sometimes it's a pain in the butt. Oh, okay. Well, it's 11.57 and all oh, on with the shoot. Okay, now that we all are here, um, I want to thank everybody for stopping in. And uh, don't forget about that every Wednesday. Now see that right there as far as tearing up too much? No. No, 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 no. Especially your little community and everything like that? No, that that's perfect. I love that area. That Your little town is right on the money. But um, I did something. Let me switch cams. Okay. I hope everybody can still hear me. Um, this is the processing. I did get the towers painted, or the uh, yeah, silos painted to match. Um, then I just got carried away and I put lights on it. Uh, each light is wired together. Well, each light has its own resistors. And then these are what they call mini micro mini LEDs they are tiny and they work perfect for lighting up the buildings um, now I did use the uh, the light fixtures that was on these buildings and ripped out the old LEDs and all that good stuff and uh, I put these in. Um, they don't look too bad. Nice and, and I can control the I can control how deep bright they get. sinks plug and play um when you order in scale lights through plug and play they give you an adapter that takes those little fine in scale light wires and uh clips them to the normal wires that you have Okay, um, let me transfer us over here to the area that is being worked without getting y'all sick or losing the camera. That's my biggest fear. 
pollution camera.
cracks me up. Same way, same steps. Okay. I mean, same identical steps. But look at the colors of the greens. Isn't that crazy? Um, that's just wild. And it's the same identical steps as I did on this one. Everything. The only thing that I did was I painted these canopies. Um, a different green. I'm trying to remember. Um, okay, this one here had the loading dock platforms already here. I had to make these platforms out of uh, stop sign. Double them up. That perfect. <coughs> uh, what I have done already is on this building here I have Sisters, they're just not hooked up. Or you can buy them. Um, look farther into the page. I'm sure you can find them with the resistors already on. But where I like to uh, screw around with soldering and all that good stuff. Let's 
just like to go in and uh, give it a little tappy tap. There we go. Now, if I do this right, I should hit this in one time. Okay. That's a one each. Okay, now that we've got our resistors soldered on, I'm going to let that tap down just a little bit. See, I do have a smaller one, but it won't go with a resistor. So I gotta do the next size up. And this protects you from uh, the solder. You know what I'm saying? As far as the uh, Resistor getting damaged, the wire getting, you know, kind of puts a, a good feeling. Oh. oh, so good so far. All my trains are still running. There we go. 
and now we've got two positives with the resistor and uh, we're ready to rock giving myself a little bit of extra room as far as the wires go themselves because if they get jerked and they're tight you're uh you're SOL you know what I'm saying to give all my wires a little bit extra clearance. And when you're working around small wires in your train track, make sure the small wires hit your hand. And you watch where they land because I think that's just purdy. That's purdy peanut butter. I have not damaged my lights and I did seal all this prior you know after I painted it I sealed it all and uh, I'm going to use this one the reason I got one with tape and one without tape is because of this reason right here little cradle easy Bob Greasy come on baby stay right there you know you want to Okay, now we got both of the wires falling. Okay, um, let me get some solder on them bad boys. I've seen how many times I can burn myself. Because this is a soldering iron that cooked me on my forearm. There we go. Now, you take another one of your shrinky shrinks. You slide that on. Make sure you don't hit the 
train when you're doing it. And you hope that you're quick enough Come on, big boy. Um, I love you, Katie, but you're not coming in. Okay, we got contact. That area. Now this one here, I'm going to just melt all the way. And that way, when you lay it all nice and down, it looks neat. It looks where you are uh, be proud of it. Because oh. now that that's done like that, you can uh, take these little strips of Gorilla Tape. Just tack it into place. That way it's not moving around on you. And it looks better. Oh. Yeah, after we get this wire, we'll take it back over on the other side and see if it works. Because it would suck to have to do all this work and not have them lights work. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. And then you got your wires taped in. Um, the reason I'm not taping down here yet, at the bottom, is because I am going to uh, put a hole right here. And that way it will set evenly. And uh, I know where... I gotta drill a hole out on the way out. Okay, now that that's done, we take the long one and we take the short one. And we, okay, where did I put that wire at? Okay, so we take a piece of this black wire. Because see, these ain't long enough now because of the resistor wires added length. So we've got to make up that length to connect from there to there. So the best way I found to do it, I mean it's overkill, but, or not overkill. Oh, it's a um, strange way of doing things. <laughs> I have a strange way of doing everything. Okay, we will soap up this end. This end. Okay, those are all. So 
soaked up and ready to roll. Now I do like to use my fingers because these right here are man's best friends. When it comes to uh, working with something. Hey Digger. How you doing brother? Um, That's a big piece. Okay, scroll down. Okay, now we got one side done. So I do things backwards, but and I do like protecting my wires, I told you. See if I can do this real fast without melting that. I did it last time for the other one. Thank you. I'm doing good, Bubba. Um, kind of frustrated. I cannot get out and mow my yard. Uh, this rain that we've been getting is killing me. So I like protecting all my wires. These are bare wires. Something hits it, grounds it out, blows a fuse. All your work's gone. All your work is history. Now, what I like to do, I know this looks awkward. But I put a little tiny kink in that. That's why that left a little long. Separate the wires right there. Like I said, if you are under the age of 16, have your parents do this. Do not play with fire because you'll pee the bed. <laughs> Take your black wire, get your shrinky tube tube, slide it on. This wire is so small that the strippers are too, the smallest hole won't even touch it. Go go juice. And I'm gonna use my fingers on this one again. A little bit of sata.
little turkey that you know you got something let off of your claw slide up your heat shrinking tubes and you slide it up you should get plastic plastic And now you got all three corners covered. And nothing's going to short it out. Like, like I said, it's, an, it's a, a, a weird way of doing it. But you still know which one is your negative. Because you can see it, of course, in between here. Get you a little bit of a gorilla tape. Like I said, I it's like wiring a house or a car. You know, if it don't look right, it's probably not going to perform right. If it looks sloppy, you're going to have problems. And now I can't. It just looks a lot better when you take your time and uh, think it out. Okay, now my wires are long enough. We will... Oh, that hot. Yeah, I seen your post. I uh, I put a a thing up to let me know notification when you go live. Okay, we got to turn the light on. I need to get uh, I need this bit.
But I got both. Both buildings. Um. Set up and done. And I'm hoping the way it looks in my head is the way it's going to turn out. I got a hole there. Where it feeds them down. I'll show you that clip I'm talking about. Um, that joins the uh, end scale to uh, HO or in scale to the bare water. Um, for some reason I think I got my camera set up backwards. Okay, there's the first building. Like I said, there is the first building. <laughs> okay, and uh, right there is where the second building is going to be. But I have to shut that engine off. And I've got to figure out where exactly that these wires will come down through because remember I still got my inch and a half mark right here running across and I need to put it right tap that hole right there for a minute. How's that, people? <laughs> you compromise when you can't get it done. <laughs> Feed 
stops and you hear crashing noises and all that good stuff, you know it didn't work. <laughs> That's one side. Woo! Now we're gonna do the other side. I probably just knocked my camera and everything over. See, I had this all planned out in my head. That it was going to work smooth. And, uh, all that good stuff. But, whew, I won. I beat it. <laughs> okay. This is the new building. Drum roll. itself is angled because of that. But there is one set of lights. Two sets of lights. option of brightening them but we did it Joan we got her done now that note, that right here this right here is going to be the office area in between the two warehouses they gotta have some way to get in I thought about putting stairs I still might um, I better take that before I get burnt putting a set of stairs in right into here you know what I'm saying? 
and also over here towards the warehouse or a silo area putting a little platform with a door but this right here will be the main office area where they get their orders for what goes where who gets what and all that good stuff but I'll take my camera if y'all get sick I'm sorry I just about burnt my cable but there is Joe Sugar Refinery excuse me Joe Sugar Processing that's one section of it and now we'll go back over here where the uh, other area is and we will talk about what's coming up okay we are back on this layout I was not able to uh, So what I want to do is I want to bring it over here real fast and uh, show you what it's got done, how it looks. Okay. This is the side of part of course. We will bring you up here. Get a bird's eye view, maybe? Okay. Nothing fancy, just regular silos or the unloading area. Um, platform done. I know most of these motors up here are green, but I painted it blue because some are blue. Um, I got his green that he wanted. Tried to make it look like concrete, brushed, you know, because. Silos concrete goes left to right. It don't go up and down. Um, here is the top of it. Uh, I've got all the piping done. Um, Oreo, you're not coming in. This is not a play area. You heard me. <laughs> I've got the uh, all the walk areas in for this section oh come on focus there we go um and did come on like I said this is John Deere Green these buildings here and then when you want to, and you have to, you can just take your silo or your loader to, and uh, it just sits right down on top of that. Just as pretty as you please. But I don't think it come out too bad. I've never done one like this um, with all the piping and everything, but I will be doing a lot more piping because of the uh, the refinery that's going right here where we're standing. <laughs> there they are. I look for my resistors. Um, 
here's the 25 piece wired 0603 LED um, powerful is the name of it made in China um, I ordered them one day and got them next uh, two days later well ordered them on Monday got them Wednesday put it that way uh, comes with the resistors and the LEDs there will be lights going on top of here for sure to me in the last year I mean whew, who would have thought hey Jake Jack who would have thought um that I would even reach 300 you know what I'm saying who's Thank everybody for stopping in. Um, and watching me not burn myself today. Uh, we did get the lights on the silo. Or the... I don't know why I keep wanting to call them silos. Because I want to get this one lit. I, I want to get this, this one, one lit. lit. You yeah. know? I think I have a little bit of... my camera oh. I just hit the wrong button get some lights on this one that one back there <coughs> that's the one I made back there and uh, I got 25 of them to put up but I want to start I want to try to make some street lights that uh, would mount to not security street lights with these LEDs. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a hands on <laughs> underneath the workbench there. Because I think I'm going to use spurs to make them. But I want to thank y'all again from the bottom of my heart and don't forget about that <laughs> hey I got an idea see <laughs> well I'm gonna set there be days like this um but go check out the people that's in my comments over here they are a very very helpful bunch of gentlemen 
and I mean helpful. Give them a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to them, subscribe to them. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and that little bell icon. That way you get notices on when they go live. Didn't know that, did you? Ha ha ha. Okay, Lee. Definitely, brother. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to think. See, look, light bulb, dang. Um, but I'm gonna get off here. I've been rambling on enough. Uh, I thank everybody for subscribing, coming in, and uh, dealing with a old hillbilly. <laughs> Y'all be safe. Have a good day, and we will see you.